Hello and welcome to the news. I am Manbha Kongla and here are today's headlines. Supreme Court orders floor tests of Maharashtra Assembly by tomorrow. Meghalaya along with the nation celebrates Constitution Day. MRRSA ordinance will have no impact on the tourism sector, says Konrad Samma. Meghalaya Chief Minister Konrad Samma denied power tussle between Secretariat and Raj Bhavan. The Supreme Court today directed that the floor test in the Maharashtra Assembly will be conducted tomorrow. Chief Minister Devendra Fadnavis will prove majority of his government on the floor of the House. The Apex Court also directed Maharashtra Governor Bhagat Singh Koshyari to ensure that all elected members of the House are sworn in by tomorrow. The entire exercise has to be completed by 5 p.m. A bench comprising Justices N. V. Ramana, Ashok Bhushan and Sanjeev Khanna also said that the proceedings will have to be telecasted live. The bench added that the voting in the Assembly shall not be on the basis of a secret ballot. Meghalaya along with the nation is celebrating Constitution Day or Samvidhan Divas today. To mark the adoption of the Indian Constitution by the Constituent Assembly on this day in 1949 and several programs were held in different parts of the state to observe this important day. Here is a report. The Constitution of India came into force on 26 January 1950, marking the beginning of a new era in the history of Indian Republic and the Constitution has come a long way by adapting changes of the modern world. A joint sitting was called today to commemorate the Samvidhan Divas. Apart from the Parliament, Constitution Day or Samvidhan Divas was also observed in different parts of the state where people from different sectors of life took the oath to abide by the Constitution of India. Speaking to DD News, Meghalaya Legislative Assembly Speaker Med Balindo said that the Constitution of India is the supreme law in India. He also said that the Constitution is the framework for political principles, procedures and powers of government. Echoing similar views, Deputy Chief Minister Preston Tinsong said that constitution is the most important aspect of a nation as it asks its citizens to abide by certain principles and regulations. Editor of the Shillong Times, Padma Shri Patricia Mukim also spoke about various facets of the constitution and stressed on the need for everyone to respect and abide by the constitution. Sir, uh, if you look at the constitution of India, I think it's the supreme law, you know, in the entire country. So, the uh, thing which has been laid down in the Constitution of India has defined the framework of uh, the uh, the marketing of the fundamental, uh, uh, you know, political code structure and uh, the fundamental political code and uh, also the structure in such a way that the procedures, powers uh, and the duties of the government and so on. You know, I th it's very, very much uh, that is understood that India as a whole needs to understand about the importance of the constitution. We live in diversity, but unity is there and it includes all types of people, all types of, you know, religion you have, creed you have, but the beauty is under one constitution. We are together today, we are living, and we will also march forward under the constitution of India. And if, as Indians, we don't question these issues that are before us today, or you know different issues that crop up then uh, how do we how do we use the constitution the constitution is to be used not in, on, not only to be read and we claim our rights under the constitution in a court of law so if we do not know our rights and duties how can we claim the constitution as our own 
The Constituent Assembly was established to draft a constitution for India. It lasted for nearly three years in which many debates on the need for a constitution were held on numerous occasions. In his address in the Assembly on 15 August 1947, Rules of Procedure Committee Chairman Rajendra Prasad called for a clear vision for the nation. Perhaps it is these vigorous debates, detailed discussions and above all the spirit of argument and reason that we as a nation must today thank for the truly magnificent living document that is our constitution. Bureau Report, DD News, Shillong. Meghalaya Chief Minister Conrad K. Sangma today asserted that the Meghalaya Registration Safety and Security Act, which makes it mandatory for people from outside the state to register with the state government if they plan to visit Meghalaya, will not have an impact on the tourism sector. Speaking to reporters here today, he said that it is a wrong mindset which is being developing on the intention of the state government. He further asserted that once the tourists understand the entire process they will be happy to register with the government since it is for their protection also and for the overall safety of the state as a whole. Meghalaya Chief Minister Conrad K. Sangma today said that there is no tussle between the Secretariat and the Raj Bhavan over the imposition of administrative rule in the Khasi Hills Autonomous District Council or the KHADC. Speaking to reporters here today, Sangma said that the governor may have constitutional and legal points to justify his decision to reject the recommendation made by the government on a similar political situation developing in the Garo Hills Autonomous District Council or the GHADC. Sangma said that the government is quite sure that nothing is going to happen in the GHADC. On the debate whether it is time to do away with the autonomous district councils, he said that the right time to discuss this issue was when Meghalaya got its statehood in 1972. A field level financial awareness event as part of the financial inclusion agenda was organized by the Reserve Bank of India, Shillong at Seid Le Dorbar Hall, Nongstoin yesterday. The program was inaugurated by P.D. Sangma, ADC Nongstoin, in presence of Anurag Asthana, General Manager, Officer in Charge of RBI Shillong. In the keynote address, Anurag Asthana highlighted the importance of financial literacy and financial inclusion besides explaining the activities of the RBI. He further urged upon stakeholders including banks and government departments to create awareness and provide the best possible services to the people. Sports and cooking materials were also distributed to the villagers of Seidle by the general manager of RBI Shillong. And now a quick look at the weather report. Shillong recorded a maximum temperature of 19.2 degrees Celsius, whereas the minimum temperature touched 10 degrees Celsius. There was no rainfall recorded today and the relative humidity in the morning touched 95%, whereas the relative humidity in the evening touched 93%. The forecast for Shillong and its adjoining areas is that it is likely to be dry over Meghalaya. Before we wrap up, let's take a quick look at today's headlines. Supreme Court orders floor test of Maharashtra Assembly by tomorrow. Meghalaya along with the nation celebrates Constitution Day. MRRSA ordinance will have no impact on the tourism sector, says Conrad Sangma. Meghalaya Chief Minister Conrad Sangma denied power tussle between Secretariat and Raj Bhavan. Well, that's all we have for you today. Thank you for watching. Until next time, goodbye.